Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. Last time was basically just an information gathering section, uh, but we did learn a whole bunch about the history of the world, the Dragon Campaign, uh, as well as saw a brief glimpse into the home of the Winglies, the Meru's home, and also a little bit more background information about things like the Black Monster, the Divine Moon Objects, all kinds of things uh, that have been involving themselves on our journey in one way or another. All right, so let's head back out into town. We don't have any immediate pressing issues, but we do want to meet up with our uh, party members as soon as possible. So in order to do that, we can just... It's not really well explained, but if you try to leave the town, that's when stuff happens. Not exactly obvious, but... Yeah, there we go. Looks like we met up with Rose, who was, of course, escorting... Uh, I assume two of the Sacred Sisters. I know one of them is. I think the other one is, like, the fourth Sacred Sister, Seti. So, yeah, but unfortunately, no information about Loy. We got information about everything else that Rose could have probably told us. Yeah, Luana and Seti. <laughs> Excuse me, but you had some changes in your body. Yeah, he got a tattoo. What of it? Hello. <laughs> Albert, I'd like to talk to you. Can we go someplace else? All right, creepy man. You've already got Emily back in Tiberoa. Don't get any ideas now. Whoa, bit of a frame rate thing going on there. <laughs> the old PS1 games don't handle that panning super well. Luana, if you remember, was the other survivor the librarian you'd had heard of. Survivor of Need, of course, that is. <laughs> Unfortunately, she didn't have much better time of it than Dart did. Only the sound of terror. Yeah, Rose, what were you doing? I just happened to be there. You know, I just wandered into the place. Yeah, that was, that was a strange remark. I'm kind of interested in what she had to say. That you people have strong powers. The power of that is beyond humans. The source of your power is in turmoil. Hmm. The power that has influence over you is anticipating the liberation. If you remember, Rose said a while back when we were uh, first boarding the Queen Fury, she was talking about how uh, the dragoons are powers like by powered by the chaos and, and all that stuff. And it looks like something's going on. And of course, we'll get <laughs> we'll get a little bit of a recap. Humans fight by making themselves under insanity. It's the same revenge. It's a tool to amplify the insanity. It's the source of the power of dragoons, the Dragon Knight. You don't look fine, man.
Yeah, that divine dragon looks like some serious business. Anger, animosity towards humans, or all things. <laughs> hey, buddies! Did you see that? <laughs> and of course, Rose has got something to say. The arrival of the one who glares through seven diabolic eyes and who crosses the sky with seven wings. Even she admits it's trouble. The king of dragons, the divine dragon. <laughs> what are you people? Well, no, we're actually here just pursuing a guy. It sounds a lot less interesting than a divine dragon, but... Yeah, so it seems like they're gonna need our help with this thing. Once again, we were here just to look for Lloyd, but uh, other more pressing issues have sprung up. So uh, I think the Divine Dragon is going to be our next target. Alright, so we get to reform our party with all of our members around this time. So again, it's just going to be Albert and Meru, and it's going to be the party I'm sticking with for a while. And we have control again. So we need to go see Queen Teresa, and uh, that will be our ticket into the castle. Before we do that, though, I'm going to head back and uh, check out the stores. Could buy some equipment from the store right here, I think. So, you know, it's probably best to do that when you've got everyone in your party, so you can make sure that you outfit everyone. Alright, so I think this is both the item and the weapon shop. We'll do the weapon shop first, because I'll probably show that, and then the item stuff I'll just take care of off-screen, because it's not super important. Buy some healing stuff, and, you know, leave it at that. New weapon for Congo. Again, we're not really using him, but sure, it's pretty cheap. Uh, new spear, which frightens enemy with a given probability. That's very good. <laughs> Assuming Albert doesn't just kill things outright. Uh, you know, a, a fear status would be very helpful. Diamond Claw for Hashel. Again, we're not really using him, but sure. Uh, that'll lower his magic defense even further, so we probably don't really even need it. You know, I mean, it's a 13 increase in defense and only, what is that, a 6 decrease in magic defense? So it's more of an increase than a decrease, but his magic defense is already very low, so... Also, we're not really using him anyway. This, however, is objectively better, so we will put that on. Uh, looks like another headband. We'll do that as well. A jeweled crown will magically attack SP as accumulated. Let's see, that looks like what Meru's already got. And, uh... Yeah, actually, this looks pretty helpful for Shauna as well, so on the off chance that we use her... Uh, we also have Stardust Boost, increased escape rate from magical attacks, which is, you know, good. I'm not actually sure what boots Meru has right now. I can't remember. At some point, we get boots that, he, that do the same thing, but with physical attacks. I don't know if we have those yet. I'll have to check. Of course, our accessories, uh, arm blocking, fear, petrification, armor of legend. Whoa, check that out. So this, uh, lots of damage, or lots of uh, defense increase, I mean. Also costs 10,000 gold, which we are nowhere near affording, so we will skip that. Alright, also did a little bit of item management there. Didn't do too much. Uh, we could actually buy mind purifiers from this lady, so I sold a couple of those extra body purifiers I had. And sort of evened out between mind and body. And I think also bought one more healing breeze, so nothing too overly dramatic there. Okay, so with that taken care of, it's really nice that both of those are consolidated into one shop. <laughs> it makes things a whole lot easier. So, with that taken care of, we can now uh, head into the Crystal Palace here. And uh, speak to the Queen about their new dragon problem. Did a real close flyover. <laughs> it flung some stuff around, broke off the very tip of the Crystal Palace. But, uh, if he has the animosity that Sister Luana said, then uh, he's probably not done with that. So, a few item boxes we can pick up. Uh, I don't really remember what are in these, but it's nothing too important. Um, I'm trying to... Uh, I really can't remember what's in that one. Uh, I think there's some equipment in some of the boxes further up, but, you know, this is just like a, a random castle, so they're not going to put the best of the best items in here. So, there's a couple different paths we can take. Uh, please be quiet. No, I'm here to solve that problem. 
And I think if we go this way, I'm pretty sure this is like the Knight's Quarters. And there are a couple things we can pick up here. Uh, this box has a Holy Onk. I think that just prevents some kind of status. Not 100% sure, but, you know, pretty nice little place here. Got four beds for the entire knighthood, so, you know, that's probably enough. Also can't get through. Still can't get through. What about if I go in here? Better go by. There we go. <laughs> Need to put more space in these things. Just run around. What are you running around for? And, of course, there's no Stardust or anything to worry about at this point. Like I said before, there are uh, a handful that can be found here. Just, no, they're not accessible yet, so don't need to worry about them. Looks like a, sort of a guest room here. Yep, I think everybody saw the dragon. Alright, so let's stop messing around and go talk to the queen. Very interesting castle, too. Gotta say, I like it better than the ones we've seen so far. Uh, all the crystal architecture and stuff. It's pretty nice. I wonder if this was, like, naturally formed and they built around it. Or if they had all these crystals somewhere and just built it. And that's, you know... I, I, it's probably natural, right? Have you... Did you even look at that thing? <laughs> it's bigger than a cloud and faster than our horses. Impossible for such a creature to exist. Well, it does. Oh. Man, she, wow, she sure gave that guy a talking to. Warranted, though. You should probably not be so flippant about that divine dragon. So that's the first Sacred Sister, Miranda. So uh, that is actually all four of the uh, Sacred Sisters. Wink is not around. I'm guessing maybe she's still in Tiberoa. She's got a point. He really just doesn't get it. attack us directly. Yeah, it seems like the first one was just kind of feeling things out. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty sure. We don't know, but we're not just ordinary humans. Yep, it's a little hard to believe, but we are indeed. You don't really have to request it. I mean, it's kind of something we have to do anyway. It's one thing we need in order to cross swords with a divine dragon. Yep, and one's the sword, the dragon buster. <laughs> Mary's surprised that Rose knows. Not sure why she's surprised. Rose knows about everything. And, of course, as we've already established, that's the sword that uh, Lloyd, a.k.a. the Bastard, used to kill Lavitz. And the Dragon Block Staff. It's a magic staff to block the power of dragons. <laughs> Rose is quick to catch on. Seems like Meru already knew about it. Come on, tell us, for the sake of the country. <laughs> I 
So this is kind of the big reveal that there's a whole bunch of Wingly still alive. You can kind of already guess based on the fact that we've seen one already. So. Seems the myth of fairies in the Evergreen Forest was true, yeah. Well, probably not because they're still kind of locked behind their wall, but, you know, <laughs> to each his own, I guess. So Miranda wants to come with us, apparently. Problems are too big to leave just to you, I guess so, but <laughs> you're not really a dragoon, so... Alright, well, fair enough. We have our next destination, the Forest of the Wingleys, in order to get the Dragon Block Staff. Wait, I don't see Shauna. She got left behind on her own again. Alright, so we gotta look for her. Fortunately, there are not too many rooms to search. It's a pretty small place, all things considered, so we can just head back up. And these stairs are incredibly long. <laughs> you have to walk on them a lot to get it to transition. I don't know why they couldn't make that a little bit shorter, but oh well. Alright, so let's not waste time with the other rooms. We've already seen them, and Shauna is not there. Uh, if we head back into the throne room, we can see there is one place that we haven't been yet. There's a set of stairs over here to the right. Of course, she's attracted to the weird glowy thing. That's just what she seems to do. Yeah, sure, that makes as much sense as any other explanation. Yeah, and what is- that, that is a little curious. What is this room? This castle used to be a fort for Wingleys, or that this room used to be a chamber for a ceremony to seal something. That's more than 10,000 years ago. Hmm. So there, are, one thing I noticed, like when I'm just thinking about it, is there are three little tower things. It's meant to seal something. It's by the Winglies. There are three divine moon objects. You think the three are the? All those things are related. Seems possible, at least. I woke up and I was here. Yeah, at least she was called and you know conscious before. Well, that's a little bit unexpected. Shauna lost the power of the White Silver Dragon and it got passed over to Miranda. Guess the Dragon Spirit chose a new master. Lighten up, there you go, lighten up the mood a little bit.
Alright, so we get a chance to reform our party again, which we're not gonna do. But as you can see, Shauna has basically just been replaced by Miranda. Uh, as was the case when Lavis was replaced by Albert, she inherits all of Shauna's stats, dragon levels, etc, etc. You know, equipment and all of that, so... Uh, it's basically just a cosmetic change. Uh, she is, for all intents and purposes, the same. But, um, which basically means she's, for all intents and purposes, the worst member of our party, so we will leave her on the bench. We'll maybe check her out later just to kind of see what she's all about, but, um, not gonna be in our main party, that's for sure. Okay, so new White Silver Dragoon in hand. Uh, we've gotten all we need from the castle, and uh, it's time to head off to the Forest of Wingways. You think they reacted poorly to Meru coming back? Imagine how they're gonna feel about a bunch of humans walking in. <laughs> That'd be a good show. And now we go. So it looks like the town is pretty much no worse for the wear after the dragon flyby. Uh, didn't quite directly attack, as Luana said <laughs> to the dragon. We must all look like tiny bugs. Yeah, that's probably true. So thankfully, nothing was seriously damaged. But, uh, definitely an ill omen. <laughs> Not a very pleasant thing to see flying over you, right? What about the guy from Tiberilla? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, there's dragons everywhere. Okay, so we need to go back into the forest in order to, uh, get to the Forest of the Winglies. But before we do that, uh, there's actually one little stop that we want to make first. This isn't really required for anything in the game. Basically, the reason we're going there is there's a Stardust to collect. Um, but what we are going to do is head back up. Can I do this cool jump thing that Rose did? And it was over here. Oh, it, you should be, they should put a prompt there where you hit the button and you'd like slide off and jump to the other side like Rose did before. That would make things a lot quicker, but no, it's too convenient, I guess. And this is actually a decent chance to see Meru's new addition. We haven't gotten to yet, even though she acquired it a while ago. So let's go ahead and have her attack one of these things. Kind of funny, I like the little fall at the end. The only problem with Hammer Spin is it takes forever for the damage number to pop up, and it's really slow. But, you know, other than that, it does more damage, more SP, it's better all around, so why not use it? Alright, so going back through the forest here, we're gonna need to head back a couple of screens. Uh, the way to the Forest of the Winglies is also back in this direction. That way to the west is still going to remain locked. Uh, however, to get to our destination, we're gonna go up here, back around, up to the north there. You may have seen the exit is the way to the Forest of the Winglies. We are going to continue in this direction. And as we go around, we want to... I think actually it's this direction. I don't know if we could have went this way before or not. I don't think so. I think it's uh, like the path is blocked or something if you try to go here before this point. Uh, but we can head around on this screen, and this will take us back out to the world map. And we can make our way over to the east without fighting. Nice. And this will take us to the tragic village of Neat. It's the only way to get there, and there's no need to in terms of advancing the game. Uh, nothing important happens here, but like I said before, it's a good idea to come here if you're trying to collect all of the stardust. Uh, because if we check around this area, where the lantern is, there we go, uh, we will acquire a Stardust. And that's it. That's all there is here. Uh, there's only one. We can continue into the next area, and unfortunately there's no scenes or anything. You would think Dart would have something special to do here, but all he does is check the grave and says, I see the name of my dad and mom, and that's it. Nothing else to really do, so no more screens to explore or anything. That's all there is. So it's a good idea, you know, one for the Stardust and two, just so Dark could come back and check out his old home, right? And then once we leave Neat, we are able to enter the forest again, and uh, that'll take us to the Forest of the Winglies. However, I think I'm going to leave it off right here, so uh, next time we will enter the Forest of the Winglies and see if we can do something about finding that Dragon Block staff. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.